Hey superstars, welcome back to another one of my autograph videos where I make some art and bug a sports ball player for an autograph. So we're going back to the national. One of the great parts of going to the national for me is that I got tons of content without even really trying. I don't feel like I filmed all that much, but here we are talking about it again. In 2019, I prepared for national autographs by doing all kinds of research on keyword searches and Google data and metrics to figure out the best bang for my buck when it came to autographs. I was just starting out with my channel really and I wanted to try to get as many eyeballs on the videos as possible. So I tried to pick guys that would get lots of views, but this year I was just like, I like the look of the early 80s Milwaukee Brewers uniforms. There, you got your powder blues with the royal blue and the complimenting yellow. It's just so great looking. And that MB baseball glove logo was just so cool. So here we are drawing Cecil Cooper. Cecil? No, Cecil. Not that Cecil wasn't a great player, I really think that he was. He was a five-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove winner, and three-time Silver Slugger. He had a lifetime batting average of 298, and he is shock rocker Alice Cooper's cousin, I think. Uh, I do love me some Alice Cooper. And on top of all that, he was a free autograph, and I do love me some free autographs. Except that it took about two and a half hours of standing in line. Apparently, I'm not the only one who loves me some Cecil Cooper. So I had the basic VIP pass, which includes 12 autographs, I think. You get tickets, half of which are random names of players who are signing, and the other half are wild cards, which you can use on any of the free guys, as long as they're still signing after all the super VIPs, platinum VIPs, people without VIP passes that just paid for the autograph, and VIPs with name tickets that have gone through the line. So wildcard tickets are kind of dicey. Confused yet? And you guessed it, dear viewers, this guy did not get a name ticket for Cecil Cooper. And being the cheapskate that I am, I opted not to pay to make sure that I could get Mr. Cooper's autograph, but it was kind of nerve wracking for sure. After spending all this time on this art, I did not want to go home empty handed. After about two hours, I tried to sneak in with the people with name tickets, but when I got up to Mr. Cooper, they turned me away. That's when I really started to freak out. And then I saw Tim from Hasa Cards. He did have a name ticket and Tim is awesome. And I asked him to take the art to have it signed and he agreed to do it without hesitation. Did I mention that Tim is awesome? Because Tim is awesome. But what was I gonna do now? Tim is giving up his Cecil Cooper autograph from me? I don't want that. What can I give him to make up for it? I could get him some lunch or maybe some cool cards or more autograph tickets. I decided the best thing to do would be to give him my Cecil. Sure, I had probably three hours into the art and two hours of standing in line, but at least I'd have a video to show for it. Then about 10 minutes later, they finally called for wildcard tickets for Mr. Cecil Cooper. And I grabbed my print back from Tim, who's awesome by the way, and I got in line so relieved and so tired of standing in lines, but here it is. came out great and the story makes it even more fun. Mr. Cooper seemed to like the art. I ended up giving most of my remaining autograph tickets to Signatures for Soldiers because I was rather done at that point. And I did give Tim an unsigned print of someone else, but more on that later. Thank you Cecil Cooper, thank you Hasa Cards, and thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada yada yada, and we'll see you on the next one.